Hey guys, Chlorine King here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the electrical from your old pump, uh, cut it out, and then also replace the electrical or reinstall the electrical on your new pump. Uh, please keep in mind this is in a uh, equipment overhaul. I'm redoing the entire pad here, uh, but the basics remain the same. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is cut the power off of the timer and breaker. So go ahead and shut the timer off. Go ahead and flip the breaker off. Now I just go ahead and flip all the breakers off just to make sure there's no power anywhere inside this breaker box because we're going to get inside of this in a bit. And then also one other thing I'll do is check with the voltage checker. So all this stuff is off. So we're good there. Alright, so now we're going to unhook the pump from the electrical. So the first thing we do is go ahead undo the back here pull this off and again better safe than sorry voltage checker I know it's ground but still doing anyways so we got nothing there so it's okay to go ahead and uh, remove these just take a screwdriver flathead always go it's ins insulated And we're replacing the pump, so we don't need to worry about the screws. And then, because of our install, we're adding a salt system. So, we're going to need more bonding wire anyway. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this instead of trying to mess with this corroded screw. So, let's go ahead and take wire cutters and cut that off. Now, we got all that disconnected undo the liquid type fitting. Let's get over here to make it easy for you guys to see. And you pull that through and that's how you undo the electrical for the pump. All right, so here we are at the electrical part of hooking up the wires uh, to the pump. There is a four captive screws right here that lifts this panel up to give us access here. And then we got uh, load one, I'm sorry, load one, load two, and then a ground wire. So I always like to hook the ground up first. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. Now it's always important to make sure that when you're hooking up power or ground wires, there's no there's no uh, casing from the wire underneath where you're trying to make that contact because it could disrupt the contact of the wire you're trying to um, make. So then we'll just take. Doesn't matter in this particular instance, but you know if you're because this pump only runs off 240. If you got a pump that run can run off either it's very important to make sure that you hook up the power correctly in the back to the voltage that you or you get at the timer so that way you don't um, burn the pump out slide it through just like that always tighten it down nice and snug Same thing for this. Nice and snug. There you go. So that's how you hook up the power and ground to this pump. You go ahead and turn this panel off. I'm sorry. We'll have it go this way. Actually, we'll have it go this way. Tighten this down. All four screws are snug.
and that's how you hook up the power. So I always like to do a power run and make sure the pump does turn on before I plumb it all in and have to do it, you know, take it all apart if the motor's bad. So now if you remember when we hooked this up, we hooked it up to the line side. So it should power as soon as I flip this breaker on. Flipping it on now. There we go. We're getting power. So we know everything's good there. So we're going to have to shut it back off and we'll go ahead and continue plumbing it in. It's also very important to make sure your motor is bonded. You got a copper wire that runs from the uh, rebar and all the framing inside the pool up to all the equipment so all the electrical stuff needs to be on the same uh, line to you know stop any potentials from getting into the water and shocking people so this ran from the pool and we're running through the pump and we're also going to run it through the salt system